हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम संपदा कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स इन दिस व्हिडिओ सेशन आय एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ फाईल हँडलिंग इन सी प्लस प्लस इन दिस करंट सेशन आय एम फोकसिंग ऑन द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑन द टाईप्स ऑफ फाईल इन विच स्पेसिफिकली आय एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द डायरेक्ट ॲक्सेस फाईल ऑर रॅन्डम ॲक्सेस फाईल बिफोर मुविंग टू द कंटेंट आय वुड लाईक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज सबस्क्राईब माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स आफ्टर सबस्क्राईबिंग इट किप द बेल रिंगिंग बिकॉज रिंगिंग बेल विल गिव्ह यू द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ न्यू व्हिडिओज फ्रॉम माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स नाव लेट सी विच आर डिफरंट टाईप्स ऑफ फाईल्स दॅट आर हेल्पफुल टू ॲक्सेस द डेटा so they are the first one is sequential access where all the records we can access sequentially or in the order the second type is index sequential access where all the records are accessed sequentially but with the help of index and now the last topic which in this current video session i am focusing on direct access file or random access file where the records can access directly or randomly if you want to know about detail the sequential access file or index sequential file i am providing you a shortcut link for the playlist of the types of files in c++ now let's move forward for the concept of direct access file as i explained previously this direct access file is also called as random access file because the file where we can access any of the record directly or randomly so that's why the names are given they are direct access file or the random access file as we can access any of the record directly or randomly here it provides or this type of file provides us the pleasure of instant access of any of the records why this instant access is possible because all the records are stored at the known address location so the address locations are known that's why we can access any of the record instantly but now this address locations are calculated by applying some mathematical function if you are knowing the hashing then the hashing is the best suitable example where it is helpful to calculate the address and to go to that address location directly the database applications mostly uses this direct access files in the next slide i am trying to explain you how the records can be accessed directly very first thing that we need to keep in mind that to access the record directly the length of all the record must be fixed or equal so this diagram explains you that suppose these are the number of records available with us from which every record is of size 100 bytes if the size is known or fixed then the address calculation is very easy and which is very helpful to go to that address location directly as of the sequential file or index sequential file where the order is important because in the order or in the sequence only at that time the data or the records can be accessed so unlike of the sequential file or index sequential file the direct access file is not following any of the order to perform any of the operation here i am explaining you the same concept suppose this is the random access file with us or direct access file with us if i am accessing this first record after accessing a first record here you can see that the next record is accessed at this particular position so there is no any sequence there is no any order after that suppose if i am accessing this particular record after accessing this record i may access this record at available at this position so in this way i can access randomly any of the record so that's why this file type is random access file or direct access file 
so here i am explaining you the uses of the direct access file as i explained previously that the addresses are known and we can access the any of the record directly so whenever you want to access any particular record that that time the direct access file is very useful the example the best example is the data available in your cd or the dvd where we can play we can access any of the data available in our cd or dvd where the address is calculated now here i am explaining you the advantages and the disadvantages of the direct access file first of all we will see the advantages advantages are any of the record can be accessed directly because addresses are known and as the addresses are known we can access the any of the record directly then speed of the record processing is very fast if i'll compare this direct access file with sequential file or index sequential file among these three files the direct access file is the file who requires very less time for accessing the data this is the fastest access file but what are the disadvantages so disadvantages are this implementation is very complex than in comparison with the sequential access file and as the address calculation is required the memory locations are not evenly used or not fully used there may be the wastage of memory in type of in this type of file handling so thank you friends for listening and watching my video i hope you are understanding the concept of direct access file or the random access file here i am providing you the subscription link for my channel tech talks along with that i am providing you the shortcut link for the next video of this video series and this whole video series also i am providing you for your reference as in the form of playlist thank you friends and stay tuned with tech talks thank you